In this video demonstration, we will explore Document Exporter Add-in for Outlook and learn the many ways we can generate PDF XPS and other document formats from emails, appointment, and tasks items from your Microsoft Outlook. Once installed, Document Exporter appears as a toolbar or ribbon in Outlook. When you select an Outlook item, you will see the following document format options under this export drop-down menu. Supported document formats for export includes Adobe Portable, Microsoft XPS, Word document, rich text, web page, etc. For example, let us save this email to Adobe Portable document to my desktop folder. Notice here, in the Save As dialog, the file name of the PDF document to be generated is pre filled with the subject and receive time of the email. This way I don't even need to input the name of the document manually. I can simply click Save button. I can customize what Outlook metadata fields are used for naming the document file from this Output Settings panel. Now let us inspect the PDF file that we have just generated from an Outlook email. See how the PDF document preserves the formatting and the inline images from the email. Likewise, I can generate XPS and Word documents from the email in a single click. In this email, we have also a couple of attachments. I can enable conversion of attachments to PDF from the Output Settings panel. Here, I can control how the attachments are to be outputted when the email is converted to a PDF file. For example, I can set all attachments to be converted to individual PDF files. Let us try with the same email. As you can see, I now have all the attachments converted to PDF files along with the email. Choosing this second option would merge all attachments into one single PDF file. So in total, we would have two PDF files, one for the email and the other for the attachments. Let us enable the third option so that all the attachments along with the email are merged in a single PDF file. As you can see, all the attachments are automatically converted to PDF and appended at the end of the email.
document exporter supports a number of attachment formats, as listed here, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents, web pages, and images. You no longer have to worry about extracting individual attachment and converting to PDF manually. Document Exporter does that for you, all at ease. To be even more productive, I can generate PDF documents in batch from multiple mails. With this batch export dialog, I can specify the destination folder where all the document files would be saved. I also have the option to choose what file title the generated documents would take. It can be either a generic name or a combination of metadata fields of the particular Outlook item. For example, I can choose the metadata option and specify the subject as the first part of the name and receive time field as the second part of the name. And both parts joined by the hyphen symbol. Now, clicking process, and it would perform the batch operation in the background. As we see, each of the email has been converted to PDF document with the metadata naming we have specified. Now, let us generate a merged PDF document from these group of emails. Here is an existing PDF file with only one page. Now, I can insert these selected emails and their attachments to this existing PDF file in a single click. This is the attach and forward button. With this, you can covert the selected Outlook item to a document format, say Adobe Portable Document, and then attach it to a new email automatically. It might take a few seconds. See how the selected email got coverted to PDF and is attached to this new email. Now I can send this to any contact. Document Exporter can be used for generating PDF and other document formats automatically from incoming emails. To achieve this, click the Automatic Export panel. Here you can choose the particular Outlook folders or mailboxes from which you want to generate PDF or other documents automatically. Let us choose our support inbox folder and the document format has Adobe Portable and also specify your destination folder. And this is important. The document naming scheme. Here, I can control how the PDF output file would be named. From this drop-down I can select what Outlook metadata is to be used as part of the file name of the PDF document. I can add a second portion to, if I want, by selecting another metadata field. These two fields can be concatenated by choosing one of the separator symbol from this drop-down. Once the folder settings are done, all I need to do is click Confirm and Add Folder. Now, let us see what happens when the setting is saved. As we have just added the support inbox folder, 
and it contained several emails, document exporters prompting me if I want to generate the PDF documents right away from the existing items of the folder. I will select the first option to process the existing items and click proceed. And there it goes, PDF documents being generated from the existing emails of the support inbox. Now, let us try sending an email to the support inbox to test the automatic live export. OK, I will attach a few attachments to this email. And send. Notice that the email has arrived at the support inbox. And document exporter instantly acts on it. If you look at the destination folder, we should be able to find the PDF document to this email being generated automatically. Likewise, I can set my calendar or task folder for automatic live export, such that when new appointment or task is added, document exporter will automatically generate PDF and other document formats. I can also set document exporter to maintain a single PDF file for an Outlook folder. And this works by automatically appending any new incoming emails into the single PDF file over and over again, such that it contains all the emails of the monitored Outlook folder. Let us try out. Now, we have a single PDF file for our support inbox folder. 30 pages. Now, I will compose a new email. And send it to our support inbox. And it should be processed automatically and appended it to the single PDF file. And here it is, at the end of the document. And therefore, making 31 pages now. This entire appending of new Outlook items to this particular PDF file will appear seamless to the user, and you will have a PDF file that has the latest update of your inbox folder. Finally, from this output settings panel, you have complete control over the PDF document generation. You can customize the default file naming scheme by choosing your own metadata fields. You can also specify the attachment's output behavior, choose single or multiple PDF merge options, and modify the page setup and layout, etc. This ends this video demonstration on Document Exporter for Outlook. If you have any questions on this product, contact us at our live chat or write to us at support at